Well, I got the correct mounting bracket for the x-axis ball screw nut today. So I'm going to go ahead and start to assemble the uh, x-axis. So the first thing to do is put this bracket onto the ball screw. Okay, we got that ready. Now we'll get ready to put the side plates on and put this ball screw between the side plates. Okay, we got the side plates on. Let's try to get the ball screw in there. Not sure which end to try to put in first. I got the bearing back in there, found a block with a hole in it that I could slide over the thing and tapped it up onto the shaft part of the ball screw. So I uh, need to put a nut on there. It's a lock nut so it's done got tight on me. I'm going to have to wait till I get the other side together and run the ball screw nut up against one side so it won't turn on me. I went to mount the linears onto the extrusions for the x-axis and found out that the uh, the polished rod on the for the linear sticks out past the uh, aluminum mount and also sticks out was longer than the than the extrusion. So what I've got to do is take these off of the uh, aluminum mount and grind the ends down flush. So they don't stick out past here. If not, we wouldn't be able to get the uh, the two side plates pulled in tight across the x-axis. So I'm going to grind these uh, down on the belt sander now to make them flush with the uh, mount. I made a mark on here where I need to grind it down to. That's quite a bit to grind off. But it, so it'll take a few minutes. I've got a pan of water here behind me. I'm going to dip it in to cool it off every couple of minutes. So it doesn't get too hot.
Okay, I got the rod mounted back on. So I'm ready to slide the linear into the extrusion. I got the second linear rail mounted to the extrusion and uh, slid the linear bearings on both rails. So we're ready to install them now. Okay, we're ready to mount the first plate on the Z-axis. First thing to do is mount the plate to the ball screw nut. I think I'll leave that just a hair loose until we get the plate mounted to the bearings. Notice that the Z axis slide on the X axis or the X axis is uh, tight and kind of dragging. So I took the whole assembly off and laid it down, loosened up these two rails, the linear rails, mounted this back on here. It looks like I have to pull these rails in uh, and tighten them down to get these holes to line up where it'll run freely. So I'm going to put a clamp on, uh, and tighten these down as I go along, just to kind of pull these rails in together.
runs a whole lot more freely now. Gantry mounted back on. Seems like it's rolling pretty smooth. The X axis, I hope to drill up to it just to run it back and forth. See how it ran. It seems like it's running pretty smooth. So the next thing to do is going to be putting the uh, z-axis on to this plate here. So we'll get started on that next. 